Hey guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelbizzle here on YouTube, and today I wanted to talk about some zero waste DIYs that I've personally tried and let you know if I would recommend them or not. Um, I have quite a few things here that I want to cover, but I definitely think that I may forget some, some categories that I've tried um, that I would or wouldn't recommend. But if I do forget any, you can let me know in the comments. Or if there's any that you think I should try that I didn't mention, you can also let me know in the comments. And if you've tried any recipes that have worked really well for you, let us know in the comments. Because I find that different things work different for all sorts of different people. So maybe someone is coming to this video to hear about some certain DIY if I do or don't recommend it. And I say I've tried one that didn't work for me, but maybe you guys have one that you think could work. So if you do, leave all that in the comments. I would love to read them. I'm always down for trying new things and testing them out and letting you guys know so I just wanted to say that before we get into this video so I will say that I'm not the biggest DIY person I don't do mostly DIYs I don't do a lot of DIYs there are a lot of areas where I've tried DIYs and I know that there are things that I can kind of get over and sacrifice and kind of get through the difference because whenever you switch to more natural products there's definitely a difference between you know natural and conventional but there are just some that I can't get over, if that makes sense. So we'll talk about those. So yeah, let's just get started. I don't know where I should start. Maybe we'll start with oral care because there's two things in here about that. Uh, DIY toothpaste. Um, if you guys know anything about like the zero waste lifestyle, baking soda is basically the answer to everything. Uh, you need some toothpaste, baking soda. You need some mouthwash, baking soda. You need some deodorant, baking soda. You need something for literally anything, baking soda, baking soda, baking soda. So we definitely did give it a try, the baking soda DIY like toothpaste. And like I said, whenever you switch from conventional to like a more natural product, there's definitely like an adjustment zone in there. But Madison, that is one of the things that she would not budge on. I definitely didn't like it. I'll tell you, when I tried DIY toothpaste with like essential oils, baking soda, and basically just water, it's very, very simple the way people do it. I definitely know people do do it and do use it and do love it and it's very cheap, but I didn't like it. But it's one of those things that I know I could adjust to it. But Madison said, no, absolutely not. So we actually got like this huge thing of toothpaste. I don't even think it was a year ago. I think it might have been two years ago. So I don't know how long toothpaste stays good for. But we had a Costco membership and we literally got two dozen packs of toothpaste tubes like a long time ago. And we basically haven't even gone through all of those yet. But I already purchased another one for whenever we're done with that. And I've been using this one on and off in combination with the one that we still have from Costco. So this is David's toothpaste. Um, if I'm going to recommend one that's more zero waste, it doesn't have any plastic, I'd recommend this one. It's a completely aluminum tube. Uh, metal is much easier to recycle than plastic. But traditional toothpaste tubes are plastic aluminum laminates. And they're very difficult to recycle. Whereas this is just aluminum, very easy to recycle. So um, I'll leave links to everything I'm going to talk about about including the DIYs I've tried the ones I have videos on the ones I have blog posts on there'll be a ton of links in this video I'm assuming but yeah DIY toothpaste is not one that I would recommend just personally for me you might love it but I don't know a DIY oral cut item that we do use and do love is mouthwash so Madison calls me the mouthwash fairy and I definitely need to make this today I'll go ahead and do that for you to insert the clips but yeah we do use DIY mouthwash like I said everything is baking soda so this is also like the exact same thing as what you would use for toothpaste but less water um, baking soda and essential oils. This is very simple, very cheap. No plastic bottles are needed to make this, so that's why we definitely do this one. And she loves this DIY. So it's a good compromise between not doing the toothpaste and being able to do the mouthwash, as long as the mouthwash fairy, AKA me, makes it for her. If we want to stay in the bathroom, another DIY I do use and would highly recommend is a DIY bathroom spray. I used to just be completely opposed to bathroom sprays because aerosols are really bad for you and the planet and they come in packaging that is nearly impossible to recycle. So I made my own for my aunt last Christmas because she used bathroom spray out the wazoo. She really, really liked it. She said it worked amazing and she was literally going from Glade to my DIY product and preferred the DIY product which I think was amazing. So I went ahead and made one for my own house and I don't use it that often, but Madison does when I have guests, they do. Um, it's just a combination of essential oils, witch hazel and water. It's very, very simple, easy to make, 
but very effective. So I'll leave um, my blog post about how to make this below and you guys can check that out. But DIY bathroom spray is one I would highly recommend. I guess a lot of these are in the bathroom, which makes sense. But um, one DIY that I do not do, um, that I don't even buy in glass or sustainable packaging is deodorant. Um, I use native deodorant. I don't know if that's even gonna focus. But I've talked about them before. They come in a plastic packaging. Yes, they do. The ingredients are amazing though. They are cruelty free, of course. Paraben free and aluminum free. Aluminum free is the most important thing to me. But I will tell you that I landed on native deodorant after trying nearly every single natural deodorant on the market. There is not one natural deodorant that you can tell me that I have not tried. I've also tried dozens of Etsy, like homemade, deodorants and I just it doesn't work I hate it I can't stand it I did try a DIY um, deodorant but definitely not for me if even other natural like manufactured products aren't working like the DIY was just an absolute no um, I really hate the idea of like using your fingers to put on your deodorant but that's something I could get past if it worked but it just never worked for me so I don't use any DIY deodorants this is the one that I use if you guys are looking for an excellent natural deodorant um, it is completely recyclable packaging it's just plastic that's not my favorite thing but this is the only thing that I will forever swear by that comes in plastic that I don't think I, I mean who knows someday maybe I'll find an alternative but for now I haven't and I love this company I don't know if you consider this a DIY or not but for makeup remover I use jojoba oil so I don't buy anything in plastic I don't buy anything pre-made I just buy this off of Amazon it is a completely glass packaging well I guess a little dropper here but when I ordered it it didn't come with any plastic packaging in the mail either it was completely plastic free from Amazon um, so I don't have to buy anything in plastic bottles I don't have to buy anything that's pre-made by like a manual manufacturer I just put this on a cloth with some water and then I drop this on top of it and my makeup comes off very easily I've been experimenting with some other makeup removers because I think this started breaking me out in the summer but it's been excellent for me in the winter with things being a little bit more dry so yeah this is literally just jojoba oil it lasts forever I don't wear makeup every day but I've been using this for oh geez like most of this year I want to say and I'm not even halfway through it so it's it, this is amazing. Um, highly would recommend this switching over if you're using like single use makeup wipes. They're so wasteful. Um, if you're buying makeup remover like in a plastic bottle to put onto a single use cotton pad, like whatever you're doing, I highly recommend trying this out. I'll leave it linked below like I said. So speaking of makeup, I have definitely tried my fair share of DIY zero waste makeup things. I don't know, I've tried the blush, I've tried eyeshadows, I've tried bronzer, I've tried um, like my DIY mascara. I've tried it all. I even even made a video series about it so I'll link it up here and in the description if you guys want to check it out but honestly that experiment didn't go too well and you can tell that from my testing video that I did where I tested it all out the makeup doesn't blend it doesn't stay it melts off your face um, cocoa powder as bronzer was one of the better ones and I did like the mascara that I was using but I found out that burnt charcoal mascara can be really bad for your eyes so I don't use any DIY makeups anymore at this moment I'm very interested in finding zero waste makeup brands that are better and so two of the ones that I've been trying out recently have a whole video dedicated to my Alate cosmetics that I just recently started using um, well I guess I've been using them for probably like four or five months now but I have a whole video about them I'll link it up there and like I said in the description so this is a zero waste makeup brand and then another one the zero waste makeup brand my most recent testing um, is Aether Beauty and like I said, I'm gonna link everything below. But this is completely cardboard packaging with aluminum pans inside. Um, it is vegan and cruelty free, just like a late is. And I just think you can get much more beautiful payoff and things that are much more creative and fun if that's what you're looking for in companies who are making things responsibly. And I love supporting companies who are doing responsible things like this. So I don't personally recommend DIYing your makeup. If it's worked out for you, that's amazing. It did not work out well for me at all. Um, and so, yeah, now I use things like this. And if you want to see a review of this, let me know. This has some awesome colors in it. And... I'd be happy to review it for you. A DIY I do make for myself is this DIY um, hair lightening spray. I use it in the summer to lighten up my hair. My hair is naturally blonde. Well, 
I don't know, the color you're seeing it right now is the color that it naturally is, but in the summer it always gets a lot lighter, and I like it to be lighter in the summer. I like to get my hair as blonde as it can be. If it were up to me, if bleaching your hair wasn't so freaking toxic, my hair would be much, much lighter, but because of the toxicity of like what it takes to dye your hair, I don't do that. So instead, I make this DIY spray. I have a whole video about this as well, and I'll link that in the description, but yeah. I make my own hair lightening spray instead of bleaching my hair, instead of buying sun in, instead of doing anything like that. This is a product you can make completely package free, so I'll link it. An area where I don't trust myself to do the majority of the work is skincare. So I definitely think you can make like face masks yourself and that could be DIY skincare. I definitely think you can make your own combination of like face oils because face oils can get very expensive to buy from like a company, but if you buy them yourself and like mix them together, it's much more affordable. But if we're talking about things like lotions or face washes or toners, I probably could do a toner. But if you're talking anything like this is my face wash and this is my face serum, two things that I probably will never give up. I love them oh so much. It's not something that I would ever try to make myself, a face wash or like a face serum treatment type thing. I just think that there are so many companies out there doing sustainable things that are great for women and great for the planet and they stand for something and I love to support brands like that. So skincare is an area where I would do some things myself but other things not. So like lotions, toners, cleansers, no. Face masks, face oils, yes. Okay, three more things, stick with me. I know this video can get kinda long because I have explanations for everything. Uh, this right here, I'm gonna put it closer to the mic. This little guy right here is my laundry detergent. I know other zero wasters make their own zero waste laundry powders. Um, I don't think that stuff is effective. Yes, I've tried it, and it just feels like you're putting baking soda into your washer. And I've also heard that those recipes with Castile soap, your washer warranty will not cover it. It specifically says you cannot use like bar soap in your washer, and it can coat your washer and basically like coat inside of your piping and lining and stuff and catch on fire, and it's just it's sketchy. So I don't use a DIY powder, I use Eco Nuts. They're literally these little bitty nuts that you can put into your washer and they wash your clothes. Whenever they get into water, they suds up. I've heard people say that it only happens with warm water. I don't use warm water to wash my clothes and they still get my clothes nice and clean. So take that for what you will, but I use Eco Nuts. I don't use a DIY laundry soap. Um, yeah, pretty simple. All right, two more things, cleaning products. I do make myself. So these are pretty much the only two cleaning like products, if you will say, that I use in my home. My DIY cleaning spray that I do have um, in a video, and I have a blog post about this. I don't know if I have a blog post about this, but I know I have a blog post about this, and I'll link it below. These are my toilet cleaners because this liquid spray spraying it into my toilet isn't gonna do me any good. So these are pretty much the only cleaners I have. Again, I say baking soda is the answer to everything. Baking soda, citric acid, essential oils. This one is just vinegar and um, orange rinds that you let soak in the vinegar, so. Yeah, very simple, things I definitely recommend. I do not recommend buying any more cleaners from the store, literally ever. They're so toxic, they add up so quickly, they always come in plastic. There are not very many companies out there who make sustainable and like eco-friendly cleaning products. And you don't need 10 million different cleaning products for all things in your home. The truth is, one all-purpose cleaner on a regular basis will keep your home just as clean, if not more clean, because you're not putting toxins into your house that can have bad effects on your health. Okay, was that video too long? Was it not too long? I feel like I was trying to go fast, give my explanations relatively quickly, but it could have ended up being a little bit long. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Again, if there are any areas that you think I forgot to mention or you'd like to see me try, leave it in the comments. And if you make any of your DIY products of things that I said I didn't like, maybe I'll try them out if you let me know in the comments as well. There are a ton of people out there who make DIYs of all of these things, so keep an eye out if you're opposed to buying anything like new like this stuff like skincare or makeup or anything like that. There are people out there who are doing it. Like I said though, everything I talked about will be linked below, whether I make it myself or I bought it somewhere. I'll link everything so you can go down there and find all of it. And I think that's it, but oh my God, let me do a shout out. Hey, I, I always forget. Alrighty, so my shout out this week is going to go to Carolyn underscore Emily, and that's because she tagged me in her gift wrapping this year. So the holidays are kind of over. 
No, not kind of. They're over. But I still want you guys to go and check out my zero waste gift wrapping video if you didn't already because it shows you how to wrap gifts without tape, which is a great resource for all times of the year whenever you're giving gifts, right? So you can go check that out. But definitely, Carolyn, you are my shout out of the week this week. Thank you so much for tagging me in your sustainable swaps. If you are my shout out of the week, you get three of my compostable stickers with my quote on it. If you guys don't remember what it is, it is my outro quote. You'll hear it in just a second. But Caroline, if you are seeing this, make sure you email me with your shipping address so I know where to send your compostable stickers. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember, until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. Bye, guys.